everybody. Once again, I am in Duncan, South Carolina. I don't know why I seem to be doing most of my videos when I'm here, but I do. Uh, I'm not going to stay here, though. I'm going to go up towards Charlotte tonight. And again, you know, got a long time in between the last video and now. Yeah, hopefully that's... Uh, I keep saying I hope I want it to get better, but... Got a lot of things going on at home. I mean, a ton. Shit's crazy at home. I got a uh, got a crazy ass bitch at home. So I'm sure uh, those of you guys that have one, you understand. Those of you that don't, are probably saying, "Well, what the hell are you doing staying with her?" Well, we're not gonna get into all that, but it is what it is. And I think uh, things starting to get it straightened all you know all straightened out. So yeah, we're gonna try and. Try and see if things get a little more uh, organized and routine. It's what I'm used to. It's what I like, routine and organization. And when it gets all out of whack, it throws everything all jacked up, man. It's affected work. It's affecting, you know, doing something like this, like videos, things like that. But, yeah, it's, a, it's been a ripple effect with everything. But, as I said, feeling good now. Feeling like everything's uh, going in the right direction. So, we're going to see how it goes from here. Uh, I mentioned I'm going to go to Charlotte. The uh, reason I'm going to go to Charlotte, because the last couple of few times here in Duncan, which normally, historically, has been pretty good for me, it's just been really rough. And I'm just going to try and change things up just a little bit, see if uh trying to get that mojo back in certain areas. But, yeah, I'm going to try and do kind of a couple places it's been kind of slow that I normally go to lately I'm gonna kind of stay away from them for a minute see what happens there's no there's no rhyme or reason to it there's no like I've got some you know informative book on why to do it it's just a it's just a superstition thing I guess is the easiest way to put it so I'm gonna try and go up there and see what happens because Usually when I've been sitting here, that's when most of the stuff's been coming from is up into North Carolina near Charlotte and all that. So I'm going to go up there and see how that works out. Uh, over the past two weeks, though, been extremely slow. Uh, seems like it's picked up overall with everybody, but there's still, you know, there's still some of us that are doing, you know, going really slow. And again, I, I attribute some of mine to what I've had going on, so... Uh, but yeah, a couple of people that I know, you know, personally, they've been doing, they've been having it slow too, but as I said, we'll see what's going on. You know, I did, uh, did a trip to Montana and that week I did like 4,600 miles, but the following week, obviously was slow, did a ton of deadheading to get back into civilization. Uh, only ended up with like, I want to say like. 800, 900 miles for that week after, and then, uh, yeah, then, uh, then it leads us to this week, actually, lost track of time, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this week, this week ended up with 1,500 miles, but uh, I didn't get out of the house until Thursday, my brother was home, and he was in service, so he was ahead of me, had to wait for him, he didn't get out until Wednesday, so I got out Thursday, and, uh, got a, Got like a 500 and some odd mile run to Hart East Hartford, Connecticut, and then Friday got a uh, got the run down here, uh, close to a thousand miles uh, down here to uh, actually it was down to Georgia, not here to Duncan. Sorry, my, my brain's all over the place. But yeah, it was down to Georgia, down to uh, Easton Alley. I don't know if that's how you pronounced it, Easton Alley, Georgia. Uh, and then I went ahead and dead headed up here. It's like 90 miles to here, and then, like I said, I got about another, probably go about another 50 up towards Charlotte, but yeah, hopefully that's all going to work out. And, uh, wanted to also, uh, answer just a, just, just a couple of questions that, uh, some people had asked me that I'd been putting off, uh, I replied to them directly also, we're going to put them in this video just because it's kind of, uh, kind of a couple of questions been asked by a couple people, same question, uh. Uh, one of them uh, from Ice Blue he was asking do I prefer the TA Petro or Flying J Pilot uh, I actually been been kind of mixing them up lately 
the first uh, four years I've been true blue to the TAs and Petros. Uh, I gotten away from them lately just because it's been such a hassle doing the uh, getting my points and my shower rewards and things because it's such a hassle for gasoline users. You got to go in and do a second chance swipe with the receipts and then you can also fax them in and it's just it's not a huge huge hassle but you know for three years I had somebody at TA corporate headquarters that was uh, allowing me to email my receipts to them directly so that was really really simple that was you know as simple as being able to swipe your card is with the TA or with the pilot flying J so uh, lady I was dealing with got promoted and so now I have to go back in and do the second chance swipe again in the in the faxes and same thing over again so the people that work behind the counters just aren't trained very well and some of them look at you like a deer caught in the headlights because you've mentioned second chance swipe to them they have no idea what you're talking about they'll even tell you they don't that they don't do that you tell them to go check out the screen and find the icon and they find it and then they still give you another reason why they can't do it still so uh, again but overall i prefer the tas and petros though they're you know the better restaurants better they make you feel more comfortable to hang out and sit you know over time uh trying not to really spend a lot of time at the truck stop very much anymore kind of trying to get out and about walmarts or parks or just do something different uh the pilots and flying jays i mean they they're good and all i mean especially for the rewards the rewards program is as good or better than tas and petros i mean it's better just for the simple fact you can swipe your card at the pump and they uh give I believe, if I'm correct, uh, they give you a half a credit for every 15 gallons. So that's a full credit for every 30, as opposed to with TA Petro, you only get a shower credit for every 50. Uh, you get points with both. And again, I'm not 100% sure from what I understand, in order to start getting your points for your uh, for your gallons with the Pilot Flying J, you got to call in and have them like activate you onto that program, I guess is the way it was explained to me. Uh, but yeah, overall they're both good, but it's just a matter of, uh, you know, as I said, it's more of a welcome feeling at the TAs and Petros as opposed to the Pilot Flying J's. Their, their driver's lounges suck at the uh, Pilot Flying J's. Uh, they're just well lit, a lot of traffic in and out of them, you know, as far as, you know, foot traffic as opposed to uh, TAs and Petros. They've got enclosed rooms and darker mo show movies and things like that, so, you know, personal preference. And I hear that Pilot and Flying J has great coffee, so for whatever that worth. I don't drink coffee, but that's what I've heard a lot of. I mean, it's more times than not that's what I hear. So, yeah, to answer that one, you know, I prefer TA and Petro over Flying J and Pilot, but not by much. So, uh, he also asked, Ice Blue asked also, who do I work for? I haven't really liked to say, just because... Like, especially on the Expeditors Online forums, those guys are such trolls and such assholes that you don't really want to give that information out because they're just, they, they, you know, they can call your work and try and cause problems for you, and I just don't want to put that burden on them. But the more I think about it, the more I'm just like, I, you know, I don't even care anymore. I mean, if they want to try it, let them try it, whatever. So uh, to answer the question, I work for Robertson Van Gogh Services. Uh, Robertson is out of Tomage, Ohio. Uh, Van Gogh Services is like uh, an add-on to Robertson. Robertson themselves, I believe they just do straight truck uh, freight. I'm not sure if they do any big rigs. I'm pretty sure they're just straight trucks. And then uh, the guy that runs the dispatch for me, is uh, his name is Steve. He uh, you know, left his partnership with another dispatching company and went off on his own due to some a lot of other things. But... Uh, basically unfair treatment and uh he started his own thing with uh robertson so he's like a, uh i don't know what you want to call it, like a just an offshoot of robertson uh but it's van gogh services and he only does the you know the cargo van sprinter box trucks you know the box vans i should say but uh yeah it's robertson express van gogh services that's uh that's who i work for uh next question Brain Fuel Network. Uh, why do I not like certain areas if there's freight there? 
Uh, he was wanting to know my logic there. I don't know if I've answered this to him. I've talked to him on Zello. Uh, and anybody, Zello, it's brought to you by Tim Expedites. The channel is ADX. That's Alpha Delta X-Ray. Go check it out. There you go, Tim. You happy? Anyhow, uh, uh, certain areas like uh, the one post in particular, I had said I was in Birmingham and I was going to move from there because I don't like Birmingham as much. Uh, just just know certain areas better. Just uh, certain things are around them. Some places are more, the has freight is more city oriented. So I don't really like the city oriented places. I like more of the laid back stuff. So I believe I was uh, either moving to Nashville or Duncan from there whenever I made that post. But uh, yeah, so I prefer Antioch is actually what it is. It's, it's you know, a little bit south of Nashville, but that's pretty much the only reason. It's just like the cities more, more comfortable there. Got a couple of places I like to go via, you know, whether it be a restaurant or the wall. I know where the Walmarts are, or movie theaters or whatever it may be, places to park in general. Uh, so that that's the whole thing with that. I mean, Birmingham, in my opinion, is kind of trashy, so just not a not a fun place to sit. The truck stops are kind of crappy around the area, and because uh, really only got one, I think that's like right in Birmingham, and it's a Flying J, and it's just like a real dive. So, anyhow, that's that's the reasoning for that. So, next question is uh, JDS World. I don't know if that's supposed to be JD's World or if it's you know all three initials and then World, but it's JDS World. Uh, he's wanting to know about a good rate for a driver that's driving for an owner and the owner pays for fuel tolls maintenance repairs and i replied to him and i told him you know my only understanding my only experience with that with knowing anything about that is uh you know as a as owner for me my driver play, pays for the fuel and tolls so he gets a it, the split is 60 40 he gets 60 i get 40 now, if uh, the owner's paying everything, it usually just swaps it. It usually is the driver gets the 40 and the owner gets the 60. You know, it may even go a little less than that, maybe, maybe you know, 35, 65, or, you know, so on and so forth. But as far as per mile, I don't know. I really don't have any idea. I'd have to do the do the math to figure out what a good rate per mile is. But uh, anybody that's watching this video, if you have, a, have an answer for that for him, please, you know, reply and let me know got cut off by a phone call there so I'm gonna have to edit this in but uh I left off at the rate anybody that has any information on what a good pay rate is per mile for a driver on, driving for an owner in a van and the owner pays all expenses you know obviously beside his own living expenses so anybody that's got any answers for that you know any replies for that please uh let me know so we can let JDS world know and uh that's uh that's the few questions I wanted to answer, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, and I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try and keep uh, replying and getting these videos out a little better for you. I hope so. Like I said, I think things are gonna start going a little better for the rest of the year. So let's see where it goes, and you know, you guys will know when I know, obviously. So you guys take care and uh, check me out on the next one, please. Subscribe, comment, do it all. And again, Zello. That is Z E L L O. Z E L L O. The channel is ADX Alpha Delta X Ray. And again, I get. I think I get like 25 bucks per spot I give on that. So I might have to talk to Tim about that. Yeah. So yeah. Check us out. Uh, Tim's usually in there all the time. If Tim's not in there, uh, I I'd go in there sporadically. I like it, but uh, I do a lot of other stuff while I'm driving down the road, like listen to music or. I get a million freaking phone calls from the family. And then, uh, other than that, I try and pop in there. But there's always somebody in there. So, yeah, check it out. ADX on Zello. And everybody take care and have a good day, week, however long it takes for me to get the next video out. Bye.